Thanks for staying with us on mid morning on this Friday. We are heading into flu season and this year getting sick could get a little more complicated. Experts are warning about what they're calling a twin demic. So COVID and the flu. Uh, of course, there's also some hope that maybe the flu won't be as big of a deal because people are sort of locked down and not spreading it at their workplaces or schools as much. Anyway, it is mm -hmm. a, a common talking point it is. that the flu and COVID are comparable or COVID is like just a little more severe than the flu. So you looked into a bunch of these things about flu COVID comparison. Right? We did. We did because you think about it this year. Last year, if you got fever and the chills, uh, you just stay home right this year. If you get fever and the chills, a whole lot of people are going to ask we, a whole yeah, lot of questions. Very nervous schools sure. work yep. Yep. daycare wherever you are mm -hmm. and how long you need to stay out. So doctors are preparing for this. They know they're going to get this question a lot. And this year, whereas before you may not have called your doctor this year, you probably should yeah. figure out your exposure risk. Go ahead and get a test if the doctor thinks that you should uh, go ahead and get a test there. Makes um, sense, yeah. right? From mm -hmm. our standpoint, you're going to call. Sure. And, and these are both, uh, are, are, how similar are these, I right. guess? They're so, both viruses. Right. So, we, you know, always talk about this idea of the flu like symptoms, right? When you talk about COVID. So, again, the fever, the chills, the cough. But COVID has a bunch more unique symptoms there. Uh, you know, we've heard about the inflammatory syndrome that can come in children. It's rare, but it can be quite severe. We've heard about blood clots. We've heard about, which also can be quite serious. We've heard about that loss of taste and that loss of smell. And at this point, it is not clear what the long-term effects of COVID are. We have heard stories of so-called long haulers that right. people have lingering effects, breathing problems, coughing issues for months after they no longer test positive for COVID. And that's the hard thing, I guess, depending on where you are on this thing, people have a different way of keeping score, right? I mean, right. I get so many tweets from people who want to talk about the death rate from COVID right. uh, as if the only goal here is to keep people from dying. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting sick is pretty miserable. Right. Uh, and could have long-term implications. But the president tweeted something uh, about deaths uh, comparing COVID to the flu and that tweet I think was flagged or pulled down or pulled down by Facebook flagged by, Facebook. by Twitter yeah. for having misleading information. So what are the facts there because the president was saying right. there are you know sometimes you it has happened where you get more than a hundred thousand deaths from the flu. Right so he talked about saying it, it's less lethal or it's just it's the same as the flu and even Dr. Fauci came out the next day and said look no this thing is not the same as the flu. Let's talk about the death rates here. So if you look at the number of people that have died related to COVID in the United States in the past eight months you're talking about 212,000 people. You look at flu deaths over the past five years, all last five years, you're talking about 178,000 deaths. So you're not even at yeah. the number of people who died of COVID. Bring it closer to home to Minnesota. Let's look at that. Let's look at last year. 153 people died from the flu last year in Minnesota. Already in Minnesota, we've had 2,000 people die related and associated with COVID there. Um, so the death rates are quite significant. Yeah. They are very different. And the doctors just want to remind you, look, you made the point, Jason, early on. We may not have a terrible flu season because we are social distancing right. and we are masking. As long as we keep doing that, that may really help. But still, we have a vaccine for the flu. It's one thing we can fight against. Go ahead and get the vaccine is what they're saying. Yeah. Good advice. Mm -hmm. The last time we had a, a hundred thousand deaths from the flu was 60 years ago or yeah. something like that. So mm -hmm. quite a while. Believe it or not, the holiday shopping season is about